Hello everybody, Sharon Ann Klingler here with the Akashic Tarot. I want to thank you all for your inquiries and all of you that have been purchasing the deck. Um, and we really appreciate all of your response and any feedback that you would like to give us as well. Today we're doing your um, reading for today and I want to um, tell all of you that um, connect with us and to ask for private readings. Um, I really do make an intention whenever I pull the cards for the reading of the day to be appropriate to those that are going to be seeing this. We really, it's not only um, a reading, but every time that I do a reading, I also intend to teach a lesson, which I've been doing ever since the second or third one that I've done. So um, it's more about you getting a reading for yourself for sure because I always ask um, the universe and the Akashic Tarot to give me the cards that are appropriate to all of the viewers but also um, and then I actually intend to pick cards to do a lesson and, um, and it turns out that the cards are not only the reading cards but actually have to do with the lesson it's really kind of phenomenal the way that happens this deck uh, kind of has a mind of its own and knows what I'm thinking do -de -de -de, really kind of twilight zone in there um, okay so today's reading we have a three card spread a very basic simple reading and um, we open up with the chess game and um, the chess game indicates um, players on a chess board. And the players are on the chess board, and some of, of course, have been knocked over. And it actually is indicative of a very significant time of politics or being in a group of people often and indeed most likely at work but it could be a family situation or an extended family situation or a church group or some kind of other study group or whatever have you where there's a group of people involved and people's personal agendas are starting to come above and be more important to them than the collective purpose. And so there's a battle of sorts. And, um, and that's what this card means. You find yourself embroiled in a political situation, whether it be in your personal life or your spiritual life in terms of if you belong to a yoga group or a meditation group or a church club or um, at your workplace. And so so you're on the, the the card is upright. So you're one of the players on that board, and you kind of have to be aware. This card tells you to be aware that there are the, there are different players, each with their own agenda, all around you, and be aware. Don't feel vulnerable. And don't feel as if you're the victim. Certainly, this does not victimize you. It informs you. It informs you, and it certainly might be appropriate to play things closer to the vest and not take sides or, you know, that type of thing, or form strange alliances or allegiances. Um, but just, just be conscious and aware as you do your work or as you move through this community that there are individuals who have um, their own agendas on the front burner or their own agendas and their priority. And that's what this card tells you, that you are in this situation and that's what's happening now. Not too much you can do to change the situation. Um, uh, the other players are on the board just like you are and they have their own positions to play as well. And that, but you do, even though I say, I tell you that this card isn't telling you to feel vulnerable, there is, this is followed by, and naturally so, I pulled these cards out exactly for this reading. This is exactly what we are going to get for you. And it's followed by the lookout card. And if you can see, this man is in the crow's nest of his ship. And um, the ship has been bombarded. There is a battle here too. And, um, and indeed, the, the sails are ablaze, and he's got his binoculars out, and he's looking to the horizons for assistance, to see if assistance is on the way. 
and um, and at this moment in time, he may not be finding that assistance um, because he's looking actually at the very situation that might be the cause of the battle, the personal agendas. If you can see, and this is what we're talking about today in today's lesson, is the action of the cards. You can see that he's looking towards this direction with his binoculars. And that actually says there's always connection between the, the, the cards that are next to each other. Sometimes there's actually causation. There's causal connection to them. But, um, but he, there he is looking at the field of play for his support, for his help. And um, the truth be told, as you know, as you learn about this card, when you know that the knights have their agenda and the kings have theirs and the bishops have theirs, just think about, you know, the ancient world that the chess game was was designed upon. You know, the, the bishops and the church definitely had their political position in the world and the knights had their political position in the world and the royalty had theirs. Everybody is on one team, yes, or two different teams in a chess game, but on their own team, but they also have a team within a team. So here's this man looking to the very source of all of the politics for his help. And when this card is upright, we really don't know who the people are who are promoting their own agenda or working for the collective. And as a consequence, I have to tell you that um, it's amazing that when I get do these readings that people, you know, email me and contact me through Facebook that um, this was so right on, this was so right on. And, and I know a number of people this is right on for this very week, as a matter of fact. So there he is looking to the horizons for his help on hoping the help is coming, but I'm not certain that the help will be coming from this area of his life. It's, it's, it's almost as if to say there might be help in this group, but be sure that you know who the people are that are on your side. Actually, there's a lot that's uncertain with both of these cards here at this moment in time. And, and I know that's a difficult thing when you have a reading. So the third card out tells the tale. And the third card out is the up in the air card reversed. And the up in the air card is just that. You know, when something's up in the air, you don't know what it is. When this card is upright, you know, they're looking at the balloon up in the air. They can't see what's in the basket. They don't know the outcome. They don't know what's going to happen. But when this card comes up reversed, the balloon, the action of the card, that's what we're here to talk, to, talk about today. The action of the card um, actually shows that the balloon is coming down. The balloon is coming to the bottom of the card, or what is the bottom of the card now? And so the resolution is almost upon us. So this is actually a very wonderful reading for all of you who are faced with all the politics, feeling as if you're under some kind of attack, or indeed feeling as if you might be under some kind of attack and you don't know where to turn and where to look for the assistance, that even within the next month or so, the answer is going to, the situation is going to be resolved and the awareness and the thing that you are meant to do is going to be revealed to you and be right in front of you, right on your path. It will no longer be up in the air, but it's coming down to roost and it's going to be available to you. So let yourself kind of step away. It's the holiday week. Let yourself step away from the politics. Let yourself to get away from being too vulnerable or trying to figure it out. Now is not the time to figure it out. Now is the time to take a step back and be aware that as we move into the next six to eight to two uh, weeks to maybe another month after that, um, we will get the answer that we seek and all everybody's positions will be known to us. So there is your reading, but now let's talk about the action. We started that a little bit. If you focus in on the chess game, 
These chess pieces aren't technically, there's no movement in this card. Obviously, every card is a still picture, so to speak. But there's no movement in this card. But as you know chess games, you know that the potential movement for each and every piece. So um, you know that the action of this card is one of strategy, defense, and offense. That's what chess is all about. And um, and also, but also in this situation, to understand not just who's on our side by who's wearing the same colors, but who's going to be focused on their own agenda and who's not. And right now, there's people that are making their moves and moving into positions. And with this, when this card comes up, I'm sure that those of you that are getting this reading today can actually think of somebody, whether it's, again, in your church group, in your study group, at your work, or in your extended family. You know of an individual or two individuals who are making sure or trying to make sure that the outcome is beneficial to them or that what happens supports them more than the collective. Be aware of that. That's why the, the action of this card is strategy. It's not a card of taking your position and making it known as much as watching and strategizing. So that's how we read the action of that card. The action of this card, like we said, is looking out through his binoculars to the horizons for the help that he needs to come and save the situation. Again, there's action between these two cards because he's looking directly into the card that may be the very thing that is making him vulnerable. So be aware when you see that this, any, anyone is looking at the next card or um, pointing to the next card or not the next card, there could even be pointing up or looking up or looking down. Um, uh, there could be someone walking through doorways to the next card, that it engages the card that they're looking at. It engages the energy of the card in the message of this card. That's the action of cards that are pointing to or focusing on other cards. So at this moment in time, we actually get a double whammy of a message here. Be aware of the movement that's going on around you and the strategizing that's going on around you and actually indeed be double aware. Take a step out of it, but keep your binoculars focused on it and watch what's happening. Also, be patient because as we move into this card, we don't know everybody's strategy here, but the action of this card is the balloon coming down from the sky, coming up from above, like it is here, to landing, to coming down to the foundation of the card and landing and bringing the awareness of anything that's been up in the air into our awareness. That's what this, the action of this card means. So all we have to do really is strategize, be watchful without feeling vulnerable and wait until all of the ideas all of the information and all of the insights that had been up in the air come down to roost. That's the action of this card. So there are three cards in which we can see action within them and also action between them. And I have to say, this may feel like it's not an outcome card because it technically doesn't tell you what you're looking for, but it does tell you that the thing, that all the insight that is eluding you or evasive to you at this moment in time is coming down to roost, and that will be in the next 30 to 60 days, likely, and possibly 90, but at least easily, more likely, the next 30 to 60 days. So there you are with um, your own reading, but also the action within each card and the action between the cards. We'll take another look in some, in some of our future readings to look at other active cards. And I want to thank you for joining us today. It's been a great to be with you, and we'll be um, having our uh, next
reading and mini lesson, lesson next Thursday at noon Eastern time. So join us then and be allowed, allow yourself, I should say, to move through the holidays happily and merrily. And you know what? Some of the strategy and some of this chess game might even be at your Christmas table. Who knows what happens when you get together with all of the family. Take a step back from all of that and just hold love in your heart for everybody. Hold yourself to your highest eternal perspective. And let yourself just watch as things happen and you put forward and reach out with the hand of divine grace to all you meet. God bless you and happy holidays to everyone.